I'm going to do my best to do a quick walkthrough. This is a day to night. Get ready with me. I use this Prep and Pine Prime pen under my eyes. I'm going to put the colors and the details on the bottom if I forget them while I'm speaking right now. But I put those on the underneath my eyes and on my forehead. What I realize now is that I shouldn't have put too much on my forehead because I thought that I looked a little too light. But in person it looks fine, but with the lights on me it looks a little too light. No big deal. And then I blended it out with a fluffy brush from Wheel Techniques. Then I use a teeny bit of Studio Finish Concealer and try to put it on that blemish that just wasn't going to cover. And then I put it a little bit around my mouth, which um, will sharpen it and make the lipstick look a little bit more crisp. Then I use Shade Stir to contour my face. And um, this is by MAC. And I did that all over my forehead. And I was like, oh, it wiped away pretty much everything I just did. So it wasn't a big deal to even use Studio Finish Concealer before. Then I use this bronzer shimmer blush, it's a lot like margin, and I'm putting that on my cheeks with this e.l.f. brush that I love for uh, highlight blushes and other highlight colors. Put that on the tops of my cheeks for it to be a little bit more glowy, and then I'm using Soft Ochre Paint Pop by MAC, and I'm putting that on my eyelids. And I used Shade Stir to carve out my socket and create a base for the next colors that I'm going to put on top. Then I used Amber Lights by MAC and I'm putting that on my eyelids. Um, this is like a really warm orangey gold. So it looks really, really pretty with tan skin. And I used my fingers just to blend it out. I could have just used my fingers to apply it too. Um, I, just want, I think I just wanted to use this brush or something. <laughs> then I'm using the color Handwritten and I'm using that on the outer corner and the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm kind of doing the sandwich effect, so I'm doing dark, light, dark on the eyelids. And I'm just doing that on the tops, not on the bottom, lower lashes. Now I'm taking typographic, and I'm doing the same thing that I did with handwritten. I'm just making it a little bit deeper and darker. The trick with this method is to use a little bit of product at a time and to build it up because then it won't be so muddy and it's really hard to take away the product rather than building it and doing a little bit at a time. Underneath the eye, I think I just used handwritten all on the outer bottom lash line and then the second color that I took, I believe, was amber lights on the inner corner just to add a little bit of shimmer. Right there is where I did it. Then I took Amber Lights again and I took a teeny weeny bit as, and used it as my highlighter. I love using eyeshadows as highlighters. A lot of them work really, really well that way. Then really quickly I'm using Anastasia Brow Duo Powder in dark brown to fill in my brows. I also needed a little bit of blush, something pink on my face, so I used Floor Power as my blush. Then I was figuring out what kind of lip to use, and I thought I would use Vegas Volt. And it's all smushy and gross right now because the, a lot of those consistencies, I think it's like the cream sheen, I believe, they're really smushy and they get messed up so easily. I used that first, and then I put Sis on top. The cyst just made it a little bit more like a pale peach as opposed to that bright peach that Vegas Volt usually looks like. And then on top of that, I used um, Maybelline Elixir in Nude Illusion. It's one of my favorite elixirs. And then this is where I just figure out what to do with my hair. I suck at doing my hair. Um, I, sometimes I really try and it still looks like crap. <laughs> so what I did, I just took a little bit of hair thing and then tied it up. I was going to leave it down, let it like the way it looked, and then I just put it up in a bun like I usually do. So honestly, I could have just done without that whole process. 
I use a little bit of banana powder to cut the uh, bottom part of my cheekbones to make it look a little bit sharper. And um, as you can see, it does, it brings out my jawbone a little bit more just sharp, crisp, and good. I like doing this on the jaw parts, I like the bottom of my cheekbones, but I wish I didn't do it on my forehead. It, to me, it came out a little bit too powdery in pictures. And I used like an old fashioned regular disposable camera that night and then I got the pictures back and I looked a little light. So banana powder is a little bit tricky. If you're light enough, it works, but I think I'm a little bit too dark for it to be on my forehead. Then I let, uh, one of my last steps I did was to put lash, uh, mascara on my lashes. I already had a ton of mascara on, I just clumped it on top. I like clumpier lashes nowadays. Then I used this eyeshadow from Motives uh, palette on the very, very center of my eyelids just to make that um, color stand out a little bit better and make my eyes look a little bit more round. Then I kind of took a step back and realized I kind of like this look. And this is how I got my whole makeup look from day to nighttime. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments and um, give me suggestions on what to do next.